We've got a new segment here on BPTV, Runs, Hits, and Errors. Meredith Morakovic joins the show now. And Meredith, let's begin with Robinson Cano. The Yankees may seem like they have 99 problems, but Robinson <laughs> Cano's impending contract negotiations may not be one of them. He leaves Scott Boris for Jay-Z. So let's start there. Well, Chris, I, I wouldn't say that just yet. I mean, obviously, a lot needs to happen between now and the end of the season for Robinson to Cano to come to terms with the Yankees. But leaving Scott Boris, you have to look at the history there. He's a guy that typically takes all of his clients to free agency, tries to get the max dollar, and starts a bidding war between teams. Robinson Cano going with Jay Z and CAA, looking at what CAA does with their clients. They're typically an agency uh, that signs long term extensions. Look at Ryan Howard, Ryan Zimmerman, uh, Ryan Braun in. Milwaukee, Buster Posey, the most recent. So if you look at the trends, you have to be pretty excited if you're a Yankees fan, but don't think the Yankees are going to get any type of discount. Robinson Cano is still going to get his money. As far as Jay-Z's involvement in it all, that remains to be seen. It was funny, Joe Girardi was asked about whether or not uh, he thinks that that'll be a distraction or all, and in Robinson Cano's statement, he had mentioned that he believes that that's the right cho choice for him, both as far as the baseball world and the off-the-field world is concerned. And Joe Girardi said, I didn't hear he's releasing any type of album yet, so I'm not worried about any type of distraction. And you know what? If he does, I will not be the first one buying it. All right, Meredith. Opening day was also April Fool's Day. And A.J. Burnett, a former <laughs> Yankee, got a little bit of an April Fool's prank maybe when he went to pick up the rosin bag here, hit it on his rear a couple times, and out comes all the rosin. So the exploding rosin bag gag was there for A.J. Burnett. I don't know what to say about that other than, well, not what you want if you're on the mound. He doesn't look too happy about that one. But uh, look at A.J. Burnett, five and two-thirds inning, allowed three earned runs, six hits, one walk, struck out ten guys. So he's kind of picking up where he left off a season ago. But you can't help but think, is that a little bit of payback from all the pies to the face he gave to people <laughs> when he was here in New York? All right, and we just talked to the big show about WrestleMania. It's coming up on the 7th. And I have to admit it was one of my guilty pleasures growing up, Tommy Wildfire Rich. Jolie Anderson, Mad Dog, Buzz Sawyer. I was a Hulkamaniac. What about you, Meredith? Did, did you uh, were you a fan of the wrestling? Okay, now I'm embarrassed. I grew up with two older brothers, so of course I was a fan of the wrestling. I was a proud owner in 1990 of a Hulk Hogan wrestling buddy. I'm sure if I go home, I can probably still <laughs> find that thing. Uh, but yeah, I was a fan. I'm not up to it anymore, but I did meet the big show, and he is enormous, Chris. I wouldn't mess with him. I, he's got to be a favorite in WrestleMania coming up. Absolutely. And real quick, Meredith, give us a, pre a preview of what you have coming up on the pregame tonight with Bob and Jack. Well, we're going to talk about the matchup. Also, Hiroki Kuroda, his success here at home last season and why Joe Girardi thinks it's going to carry over into the 2013 season. We'll also have some injury updates, and we'll talk more about Robinson Cano all coming up on the pregame show. All right, thanks a lot, Meredith. It was great to hear from you. We'll hear from you again on the pregame with Bob and Jack. Thank you very much. My pleasure, Chris.